Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. Finally, I'm doing this event. Hues of the Violet Garden. So, I finished all the story quests that is required to unlock this. So now... Yeah. Act 1, I have to talk to Catherine in Inazuma. Gliding be faster. This is just riding. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Finally. Hi, Catherine. We heard that you have a new commission for us. That's correct. There's a requester who has submitted a designated commission for the two of you. A designated commission? Sounds like it must be pretty important. Uh, what kind of task is it exactly? <laughs> There's no need to worry. Not dangerous. This commission is not dangerous by any means. Perhaps you have heard that Inazuma will soon be holding a major festival. The magnificent Irodori Festival. Irodori. Yay! A festival! <laughs> oh, come to think of it, we haven't attended a festival in Inazuma for a while! Now the last festival was... The one with Ayaka, I think. The Yashiro Commission and Lady Yai are responsible for all the festival preparations. The one who has requested your help oh, is Yai none Miko. other than Lady Yai herself. <laughs> <laughs> you know Miko! She always has some unusual ideas in her head. You can bet a festival planned by her is gonna be one to remember! We'd better go to Grand Narakami Shrine and see what she needs us to do. Lady Yai is currently at Yai Publishing House oh, in Kanamizaka. So there is no need to go all the way to the shrine. In fact, she has instructed me to have you directly meet with her there. Oh, well that's convenient enough. <laughs> Let's go then. Okay, Act 1. The Strange Tale of Suiko Tipsy's Structure. So right here. Oh, there she is. Huh. Aratani and Kuroda, how are things coming along? All the books and commission prints for Yai Publishing House were bound and mm -hmm. sent out yesterday afternoon, Lady Yai. Very good. And Murata? We have already received word from Apekusu and Sailing Breeze that the materials are all in place for Shogun Almighty Reborn as Raiden with Unlimited Power and Pretty Please Kitsune Guji. Kitsune Guji. Hmm, well done. And what about you, Onodera? <sighs> hmm? <laughs> Onodera? Oh, uh, yes, Lady Yai. Everything is ready for the new issue release party. You are the one who organized the plans for this release party. In other words, you are the team's fearless leader now. So please, show some confidence. That's Besides, right. there's <clears throat> no need to be nervous. This project is destined for success. I feel quite optimistic about it. I shall specially grant you leave for the next couple of days, Onodera. Please take the opportunity to have a good rest. After all, you will be very busy on the day of the release party. Yes, Lady Yai. Thank you very much. All right, then. Is everyone clear about their assignments? Hmm, good. We are running out of time, so let's get moving. Chop, chop. Okay. And... Ha, huh. hello, little ones. I take it you have received my commission, hmm? Some organizer you are! It's nearly time for the festival and you're still over here ramping things up for your light novel business! Shouldn't you be getting back to the Grand Narukami well, Shrine? must be related to the festival. You weren't thinking of dumping all the festival preparations on us, were you? <sighs> if so, then you can forget! <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> what a pose this is. My, my, such harsh words. It hurts to hear that kind of talk from you two. But as you can clearly see, I'm here working like a dog for the festival. Yet you say I'm not doing my job. Let no, me ask you, little ones. Whoever said that the festival must involve the Grand Narukami Shrine? 
International cultural festival, but with a unique twist. All right. I suppose I should start by telling you the origins of the Iridori Festival. Legend has it that there were five poets in ancient Inazuma who were supremely gifted in singing and writing poetry. They are known as the Five Kasan. Every year, one of the five would present a collection of the group's poems to the shogun for review, which would then spark culture discussions regarding those works. Thanks to them, Inazuma's culture blossomed and gained great influence at that time. As time passed, people began creating various tales based on the five kasan. The Iridori Festival was also developed as a result to show appreciation for their works, which so greatly enriched our lives. Sounds like a festival that's really rooted in culture. Indeed. To describe it in the words of the ancients, it'd be refined elegance. Unfortunately, with the flow of time, people have gradually forgotten about the Five Kasan and the festival, which is precisely why I've decided to revive the Iridori Festival by holding a cultural convention featuring light novels. <laughs> But wait a minute! Light novels? Light novels? <laughs> Refine elegant stuff. Please stop looking at me with those baffled expressions. In ancient times, poetry was all the rage, but nowadays the entertainment format of choice is light novels. The important thing is not the format, but the creative work itself. It is impossible to come up with anything fresh if you're stuck using some rigid format of the past. Speaking of which. Don't you think that the concept of focusing on the now perfectly suits the current Inazuma? <laughs> And besides, it's a great opportunity to reintroduce Inazuma to all to vat through light novels. As they say, it's two birds with one stone. Oh, that was close. Paimo was nearly carried away by Miko's persuasive tongue. Come on, <laughs> Miko. You can't fool us. We know you by now. This is all definitely stemming from your own personal interest. <laughs> I can't deny that my hobbies had no part to play in this. However, regardless of whether it's light novels or a festival, catching people's attention with a fresh concept is the essence here. Well, what do you say? Aren't you two even a little curious about what interesting things you might joining. see at the festival? Seen from the trailer. Uh, <laughs> Let's pay a visit to the venue in Rito together. I promise that it will give you a whole new perspective on the festival. Let's There we'll meet a special someone who will tell you more about your tasks. Oh, we're teleported straight there? Okay. Oh no, not. What was that about? <laughs> Festive elegance, let's go. Okay. During the Iridori Festival, the area around the Outlander Affairs Agency will become the main exhibition space for light novels. Once things are in full swing, not only will there be lots of official and fan-created work on display, there will also be exclusive giveaways, prizes, and new release <laughs> parties. This small plaza in front of the International Trade Association will be called the Five Kasan Plaza during the, the festival, and nearby shops will be selling special light novel merchandise. You certainly won't want to miss out. Wow! Um, how should Paimon put this? Light novel paradise. Uh, it's definitely not your typical <laughs> festival, but it sure looks like it'll be quite the party. Huh. Uh, Miko, what, what are these blank boards in the center of the plaza? Yes, those are... Ah, oh, 
Lady, I oh, did mention that there would be some reliable <clears throat> helpers coming to assist with the festivities. It appears she meant you two. So I had to At last we meet me. again, Traveler and Paimon. Tell me, how are you faring we recently? We meet again. It was just like twelve hours ago. <laughs> they played the story quest. Preparing festivals falls under the Yashiro Commission's scope of responsibilities. Seeing as Lady Yai has poured her heart and soul into the preparations, I'm obliged to be equally dedicated. <laughs> Come now, Ayato. We're not strangers here. There's no need to sound so formal. It's we were just so about to discuss the boards over here. <laughs> They're related to our little helper's tasks, so I'll let you give them a detailed rundown. Certainly. I assume you two already know that the mm -hmm. Iridori festival originated from the five Kasen. So these are the five These boards. five boards are here for painting their portraits. This Iridori festival is not only the first major festival to be held in Inazuma since the lifting of the Sakoku decree. It is also an event deeply rooted in culture and the arts. Therefore, the Yashiro Commission has personally invited several cultural celebrities from other nations. For example, the artist we have invited to paint these portraits hails from the distant land of Mondstadt. A monster. Paint this portrait. Hail from Albedo. The Ashiro Commission will arrange accommodations and food in Inazuma for each of the distinguished guests. Must be. However, we fear that staying in a foreign land may feel a little uncomfortable, which is precisely why it would be ideal to have someone familiar with both Inazuma and other nations of Tevat to serve as a guide for our guests. Ah, okay. I knew you would catch on. It is our hope that you would be able to guide the guide guests the from guests. the harbor to their residence at the International Trade Association, while providing any necessary assistance along the way. This arrival schedule includes the details of the ships on which the guests will be arriving. All you simply have to do is go to the docks at the indicated Sadly, times. Sadly, the guests are from only Mondstadt and Liyue, <laughs> where the other regions we haven't went to. Oh, what? Uh, okay. Large passenger ship, Bart's from once. Okay, Bart's. Plenty. A guest painter. Oh, cows. So, we're assuming Venti will be there. Second day. Large passenger ship, calligraphers, painters from Liyue, theater mechanicus players, and a guest writer, Zen Yu. That is. Sing Chiao. Okay, third day, large cargo ship, one person. Eh? No other <laughs> clue. And the day following the release, small passenger ship, two persons. Okay. Hmm, it's settled then. My, look at the time. I have to meet with my editors, so I must be going now. During the festival, most of the Yai Publishing House's editors will be staying near the Outlander Affairs Agency. If you run into any problems, you may find them there. This festival requires the full cooperation of the Tri Commission. <coughs> there are still many minor details which require my attention, so I must excuse myself for now. I'll leave the guests in your hands. Okay. So now. What are the details we need about the ships are on the timetable that I also gave us. Yeah, I saw that just now. Uh, let's take a closer look and be sure to pick up the passengers according to the times written on it. Pick up the passengers. Alright. Wait until 6 to 8. What time is it now? Okay, we'll wait at 5. Nearly 6. Alright, here we go. Should be soon. According to the arrival schedule, there will be a ship arriving from Mondstadt today. From Mondstadt. The artist for the five costume portraits should be on board. The boat should first? be arriving soon, so let's head down to the docks. I wonder who. <laughs> I wonder who will come first. Yes, 
That's right. Lyra. We are bards from Mondstadt. Okay, so it's not Venti. Lyra. Word has it that Inazuma has undergone many changes of late. We hope to find hmm? fresh inspiration here. Find one? These guests are all bards, aren't they? Well, <laughs> it's very certain. Where's Tonga? Where's Venti? <laughs> Yeah. Do you think he didn't receive an invitation? He should come, right? Maybe not. Why is that? Venti's and Oh, I don't see what you're getting Archon? at. Even though Venti no longer rules over Mondstadt, he's still an Archon. But he will come, right? Come on. If he came rushing to Inazuma at the first he's festival asleep, of a maybe? festival. Oh. Not only would it seem a little childish, it would also sort of be shameless of him too. Please, yeah, first. Okay, Cleefus. <laughs> no, Albedo. Ah, the yeah, Albedo. Albedo. Five, because everyone in the Knights of Favonius has been really busy these days, Albedo arranged for someone here to issue me a dependent pass. Greetings, Traveler and Paimon. After hearing that Inazuma was making preparations for the Irodori Festival, I predicted that I might run into you here. <laughs> ha! Paimon knew it! Yeah. I'll Albedo. The Albedo is the it seems that you already know why I'm here. <clears throat> Just so you're aware, I'll be using my pen name in Inazuma. Oh, Calx, Calx is his pen name. I see. Oh, by the way, do you know where the International Trade Association is? I'll be meeting with the editorial director of the Yai Publishing House there. Yeah, the International Trade Association is where you'll be staying in Inazuma. We'll be heading there too. Great. Let's get going then. <laughs> okay, so no venti today. <clears throat> Go to the International Trade Association. I was expecting Klee to just run to the bridge like the trailer. <laughs> Guess not. <coughs> Alright then. There it is. During the trip was probably not the best idea. As a result, she could hardly sleep all the way here. It appears she's even more excited now that we've arrived. Strange. It seems that the editorial director, Mr. Hirayama, isn't here yet. I'm certain he said that he'd be sure to arrive before me. This might be a problem. Well... Mr. Hirayama was supposed to meet with me and give me some reference materials about the five Kasen today. That way, I could better visualize the content for my paintings. I just realized this stall. Is that right then? Figurine or something? Not figurine, but whatever that is. And the, the poster kind of at the back there. <laughs> you mean you had no idea what you'd be painting before you arrived in Inazuma? I only know of the five Kasen by name. Because of the sheer age of the tale, very little has been passed down to this day. So Mr. Hiroyama decided to help me collect some more information. Uh, I'm the type of painter who can complete a painting quickly as long as I'm inspired. Yes, so I agreed on only receiving the details today. So when do the paintings have to be done by? Uh, according to the festival plans, the portraits will be revealed one at a time throughout the various stages of the Iridori Festival. The first one, depicting Suiko, will need to be done before the festival's official opening ceremony, which is the day after tomorrow. Yeah, two days. The day after tomorrow? Then they're already running out of time! Uh -huh, There's different. no need to panic. <laughs> uh, when I was working on light novel illustrations, because the manuscripts are shipped by boat, things were always tight and finished at the last minute. Just last month, to ensure the latest book of A Legend of Sword would be finished for the Iridori Festival, I had to complete the final chapter's illustrations the same day I received the manuscript. I heard that my illustrations were sent to print as soon as they arrived in Inazuma. I still don't know how well they turned out. Uh, Paimon isn't sure if she should feel sympathetic for your working conditions or 
compliment you and your artistic genius. Of course, I would still prefer to receive any possible reference materials in advance so that I can be better prepared. Oh, right! The editors of the Yai Publishing House will all be around the Outlander Affairs Agency these next few days. Who knows? Maybe Mr. Hirayama's over there too. We'll take you over there to see if we can find him, Albedo. Alright, it's worth a try. <laughs> You haven't slept for a while now. Uh, please stay at our residence in the International Trade Association and get some rest. We will be back soon. Okie dokie. Don't worry, Albedo. I'll be on my best behavior. Really? <laughs> She's not gonna destroy this whole area suddenly. <laughs> okay. Outlander Affairs Agency. when he's on special leave. Oh, right. He was on leave. <sighs> Kuroda and I will go back to Inazuma City for an emergency printing run. The demand for this book is so high, though. Even with the emergency prints, it still might not be enough. Despite everything, we're still lucky that we found out today. If this had happened a few days later, then we'd really be in boiling water. I see a Yahimiko in the back. Hey, yeah, do you think writing. that suspicious guy they found in the warehouse has anything to do with this? Suspicious guy? Well, the editorial director is on his way over there to investigate the situation as we speak. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but what's going on here? Oh, hey, traveler. Uh, don't worry. It's nothing, just an internal issue. That's all. How can I help you? I'm looking for the editorial director, Mr. Hirayama. Does anyone know where he is now? Um... Uh, Mr. Hirayama is currently at the warehouse down by the harbor. Oh, hold on a second, Murata. Uh, excuse me, but you must be Calx, the one who was invited to paint the five Kasen for the festival? Yes, that's me. My name is Kuroda. You must be inquiring about information regarding the five Kasen. I do apologize, but please make yourself comfortable at the International Trade Association, and I will let Mr. Hirayama know to send you the materials right away. Oh, no need. Super busy, so we can go <laughs> find him ourselves. Uh, well, uh, about that. Hmm? Uh, excuse me, but is there something wrong with the latest volume of A Legends of Sword? Huh? How did you know? Since you were all aware that Mr. Hirayama needed to send me some supporting materials, that means the editorial director didn't forget about it. Instead, something urgent must have cropped up. To add to that, despite being aware that I am Calx, were still unwilling to let me go to Mr. Hirayama directly. After considering these factors, the only reason you would try to stall me is if something happened to a Legend of Sword, which I did the illustrations for. Oh, well, uh, uh, I'm very sorry. The situation is just as you said, Calx. I suppose it doesn't hurt to tell you now. Earlier today, someone spotted a suspicious outlander sneaking around inside the Iridori Festival warehouse down by the docks. Mm -hmm. So they promptly alerted the Tenryo a Commission. suspicious outlander. The Tenryo Commission was concerned about potential cargo theft, so they contacted everyone who was renting space in the warehouse. It was then that we realized that the latest copies mm -hmm. of A Legend of Sword had suddenly gone missing. What? The books are missing? Shh, not so loud. Not only is this book an eagerly anticipated release in the last phase of the Iridori Festival, but the author, Jin Yu, will be personally attending the release party as well. Because of the dire situation, Mr. Hirayama immediately hurried to the warehouse to determine whether the theft was related to that suspicious outlander. I see. It would be a great misfortune if a Legend of Sword would not be released on schedule. And quite a disappointment for Chen Yu as well. If Mr. Hirayama has gone to the warehouse at the docks, then I'll go down to see if I can be of any help. So the author of A Legend of Sword is Chen Yu. Xin Chou, yep. Sounds familiar. Hey, isn't that Xin Chou's been name? Oh, do you know him? Mm -hmm. Xin Chou would definitely be upset if he discovers his books are missing. Let's accompany Albedo to the warehouse too. <laughs> okay. Where's the warehouse? Near the docks. Quake!
Uh, here. Oh, is that Venti? Oh, hold on. Gujo Sara. So Venti is here. <laughs> What's going on? Huh? It's you! Why are you here? He is here. <laughs> I'm here on behalf of the Tenryo Commission, of course. Is that surprising? No, Sara, Paimo wasn't talking about you! <laughs> so, Tone Deaf Bard. The suspicious outlander in the warehouse wouldn't happen to be you, would it? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Considering the evidence, it appears that the suspicious outlander is... Indeed me. Surprise, surprise. Okay, Venti is here. <laughs> As I have told you, you are a suspect. Oh. Before your allegations of theft and illegal entry as a stowaway are cleared, you are to remain silent. Don't make me say it again. Traveler, Paimon, do you know this self-proclaimed <laughs> bard from Mondstadt? Uh, listen, Sara. Knowing him, he doesn't... it's safe to say that he wasn't behind the theft. But what's this about being a stowaway? Although he claims to be a special guest for the Iridori Festival, he's failed to present his invitation letter. Therefore, we can only suspect that he might have entered the country illegally. Indeed. And just Where's a moment ago, end? we caught him in a dandelion wine crate near the sailing breeze. Okay. If it would help shed any light on the situation, then please, be my guest. Oh, Venti! <laughs> You didn't really come here illegally, did you? Ouch, your words wound me. We've been apart for so long, and the moment we meet again, all I'm greeted with is grilling questions and suspicious glares. <laughs> <sighs> you arrived in Inazuma via similar means, or so I heard. You of all people should be more understanding, don't you think? Okay. Similar means? <laughs> That's not ring up. <laughs> I merely jest. Fear not. For the person who sent me the invitation is none other than Kamisato Ayato of Yashiro Commission. It's unlikely that someone acquainted with the likes of him would ever be here illegally, right? But why weren't you on the same ship hmm. as the other boys? Yeah. Well, once I received the invitation letter, I couldn't help but want to come to Inazuma a little early. It was then that I happened upon a cargo ship bound for Inazuma transporting dandelion so where's your wine. So, naturally, <laughs> I decided to set sail with them. Don't tell me your wind blew off the letter or something. Once aboard, I found the captain to be a kindred spirit, and I was treated to an abundance of fine liquor along the way. Uh, uh I huh. must have fallen asleep in the cargo crate while carefully comparing the tastes of dandelion wine and Inazuman sake. And when I woke up, I found myself in this That's warehouse why he's in with the a warehouse. Tenryo Commission general glaring at me from atop the grate. <laughs> <sighs> Coming from Venti, this story is quite believable, but it still feels a bit... Excuse me, I'm the owner of the stolen goods from the I Publishing House, and there mm -hmm. are some questions I would like to ask you. Based on what you just said, it seems you've been in the warehouse for some time now. If that's the case, did you happen to hear anything unusual? Actually, I did hear some faint footsteps around me a couple of times, but I didn't consider the sound anything out of the ordinary. Mm -hmm. But if you clearly heard something, why didn't you feel it was unusual? Oh, I seem to understand now. Huh? What did you notice, Albedo? When it comes to burglars, they are generally associated with prying or rummaging through things. What Venti means is that he did not hear anything unusual like that. As for the sound of footsteps, because this is a warehouse where many goods are coming in and out each day, it is quite normal for people to be walking around. True. I see. But if that's the case, then we're back to square yeah. <laughs> one regarding the stolen books. No, not quite. From the facts that have been presented to us, we can draw at least three conclusions now. First, whoever took the novels is not a spur-of-the-moment burglar. They had their sights in the books from the very beginning. Second, the culprit was very familiar with the warehouse, and might even have a key. And third... I knew you'd catch on, Traveler. One person couldn't possibly transport so many heavy books in such a short window of time. It must have been a team effort. It goes without saying that Venti clearly does not match up with our culprits. <laughs> yes, I agree with your reasoning. Mr. Hirayama, the Tenryo Commission will continue by investigating the warehouse staff. 
If you come across any further clues, please notify us immediately. Yes, understood. I'll leave it to you then. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I'm free as a bird then. Oh. Not so fast. <laughs> Even though we've cleared the theft allegations, we still haven't ascertained whether your arrival in Inazuma was legal or not. Aw, tis a shame. I thought surely after my honest account you might let me off the hook. That is quite the meticulous one. So, yeah. <laughs> where's your invitation letter, Venti? Uh, yes, the invitation letter. <laughs> I'm truly sorry. Oh, uh, I can't seem to remember where I may have put it. Well. Uh, how could you lose something so important? Well, he fell asleep. Maybe he dropped it somewhere. Don't be mistaken. I was well aware of how important it was. But I didn't bring any luggage with me, and the letter was too big to fit in my pocket. So I kept it in my hand the whole trip. So he dropped it somewhere while you fell asleep? Strange. Though I had a little too much to drink, I know that I kept it in a secure place. I even recall being most pleased at coming up with a good idea at the time. If you were mm -hmm. holding the invitation in your hands <clears throat> the whole time, then why did you put it down? Well, to properly compare the yeah, taste of Mondstadt so. wine and Inazuma and sake, I had to hold a glass in each hand. I couldn't both hold the invitation and a glass so at the same it? time. I mean... But surely I wouldn't put it in just any random place. It could easily be misplaced. In which case, I believe there's only one place it could be. Have you figured it out, Traveler? Huh? You're way ahead of Paimon. Do you two already know where the invitation letter is? You can't be serious. It is with him, but he doesn't remember. In his shoe, in his cape, in his hat. He has a hat. Yeah, probably the safe should be in the hat. Why in the shoe when he can't fit the pocket? In his cape? No. Ah, oh, yes! <laughs> I remember now. I knew you'd help me find it. Really? <laughs> hmm. This is indeed an invitation letter issued by the Yashiro Commission. Now that we've confirmed this guest's identity, I have no further questions. You got see me face bombing right now. <laughs> However, starting tonight, I would advise you to stay at the International Trade Association. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be leaving now. All right then. Ah, oh, Venti. There Wait. goes Sara. <laughs> about Albedo's reference materials. Mr. Hiroyama, <coughs> I'm Calx. All right. We had originally arranged to meet today. Ah, yes, so you are Calx. <laughs> uh, I'm very sorry that you've arrived in Inazuma only to find such a mess. <laughs> These are the materials regarding the five Kasen. All the information that we could find is compiled here. There were five legendary poets supremely gifted in the museum. I think they were honored as the five Kasen. It said that the Shogun of the works Suiko, Aoi no Okina, Akahito, Sumizome, and Kuronushi. Their real names were lost in history. Each dress in a distant color green, blue, red, white, and black. Oh. So it can be any five characters then. As long as they are in green, Venti. Blue, Sincha maybe? Red, uh, clear, <laughs> white and black. That's a guess again. <laughs> Alright, about the tail to the five Kassen, blah blah blah, five Kassen summary, Suiko, oh, each character's, okay. Oh, let's see here. Yes, it's just as I had suspected. Monikers such as Suiko and Aoi no Okina aren't the real names of the five Kasen. Though there were once many stories regarding each of the five Kasen, the validity of their contents can no longer be verified in present times. Alas, what a shame. But, at the very least, we know that most of the stories were written according to a similar style. So there is still something <clears throat> we may glean from this. So, is the info useful for your paintings, Albedo? To some extent, yes. 
Uh, however, uh, I must admit that it is still lacking and uh, fails to fulfill the most crucial element. Inspiration. There is one that say in color green. You can use Venti as. Uh... <laughs> I am sorry that this information is not as exhaustive as you had hoped. However, it is not possible to gather anything more at the moment. Though, Lady Yai did say that there are many variations of the story about the five Kasen, and everyone has a different story in their heart. So all you need to do is follow through with what's in your own heart, and create something that you yourself find interesting. That does sound like something Miko would say. Thank you, Mr. Hirayama. No need to worry. I'll find inspiration for the portraits. Great. I'll leave it to you then, Calx. Oh. And there's one more thing I need to ask of everyone. Tomorrow morning, Mr. Jen Yu, the author of A Legend of Sword, will be arriving in Inazuma by boat. If you see him, please do not mention the stolen novels for the time being. Do not mention them. Whether the stolen books are eventually recovered or not, the Yaya Publishing House will do its best to ensure that the novel's release is a success. You have my gratitude. I'll be going then. Well, seems there's nothing more we can do here. Let's go! Uh, Venti? Huh? Venti? What are you doing over there? You don't want us to leave you behind, do you? Traveler, Albedo, would you mind coming over here for a moment? Hmm? There's something peculiar that I think you should see. What's that? What is it? What is it, Venti? A piece of paper? Indeed. When I awakened to find myself in the warehouse this morning, I discovered this paper in the cargo crate where I was sleeping. <laughs> I didn't think much of it then. I thought it was merely a scrap piece of paper that had fallen into the cargo. After a quick glance, I stuffed it into a place nearby. But on second thought, I think it's worth having you take a look at what's written on it. Uh, the Five Cousins Splendor Suiko. Hey, what? In blue clad, I went before Tenshikaku to present our work. I knelt and buried Some treasure scoundrel must have stolen the pole on me. Let me see. Suiko chapter. Suiko chapter. Wait a minute. Isn't Suiko the name of one of the five cousins? The story told in this poem roughly boils down to Suiko getting tipsy and letting some poems that were meant for the shogun get stolen. Ah. Huh. This story sounds familiar to my ear. Where have I heard it? Seriously? It's the same story. It's the same story you just experienced yesterday. Uh, <laughs> yesterday? Has it already been a day? <laughs> okay. Interesting, isn't it? Related, yes, yeah. I concur. The person who left this paper could quite possibly be the criminal. Or, a or even a witness to the theft. I'm thinking maybe a witness, but if it's a Why leave the paper here in such a fashion? And if the one who left it here was a witness, why didn't they attempt to stop the burglary? Alright, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Meeting together in Inazuma like this is a most rare occasion. Since we've been busy from the start of the day, let us find an inn with good drink to keep our thirst at bay. Hey! <laughs> you just sobered up and you're already thinking about more drinks? And let's not forget that Albedo still has a portrait to complete. We don't have time to be slacking off! No, it's fine. Let's all go for a drink together. It'll be my treat. Wait a minute. What about your portrait? As I mentioned before, Maybe he gets I'm the kind of artist who can work quickly once I'm inspired. Hmm. And now, it seems I've found my source of inspiration. If I use a model as reference for the piece, we must pay him back with the appropriate recompense. <laughs> In that case, we'll need to order more dishes. One year, the poet Suiko made his way to Tenshukaku and presented the Kasen's work for the Shogun's perusal. But a page from the so works of Aoi no Okina had been torn out, and Suiko was questioned regarding the matter. Suiko pleaded guilty. He admitted to drinking at the tavern the night before, and vaguely recalled a mysterious figure approaching while he was intoxicated. Mysterious figure. <laughs> wow, already. Yeah, so use Venti as so we go. Yes, it really is a sight to behold. <laughs> Not only does it harken to the traditional style of Inazuma, 
But it also makes use of modern aesthetics. My figure is particularly striking. <laughs> Even though I'm sound asleep in the portrait, I still appear as glorious as always. Hey, don't get too full of yourself, Tone Deaf Bard. <laughs> you were just a model. The person in the artwork isn't actually you. Well, Albedo, who will be your next portrait? The next one will be Aoi no Okina of the Five Kasen. Albedo, might I suggest waiting a little before starting on the next one? Who knows? You might soon discover another story. Another story? Uh, I believe he's referring to the possibility of finding another paper with tales of the five Kasen. According to the reference materials I was given, we've only found the first of a total of four chapters. Do you think the mysterious person who left the first paper will strike again? That certainly is a possibility. Also, there are some points regarding the stories of the five Kasen that have left me rather curious. For example, the reference materials make mention of five legendary figures. Mm -hmm, but Yet all the five. popular stories only consist of four parts. It appears that throughout all the stories, there is never a chapter dedicated to Kuro Nushi. Yes, I'm also curious about these stories myself. But who knows? They may merely be akin to the old saying in Mondstadt. Seeds of stories brought by the wind and cultivated by time. So for now, we need but just wait patiently. Okay then. Oh, that's the end of the act one. And the festival started. Ah, so that's what it is for. Okay. The monster at Bartland is discussing poetry quite passionately. I guess this is to unlock a mini game. Not say mini game, but yeah, it's like one of those small things to do. Okay. So I yeah, this is like two. I think I'll stop here for now. I don't want to go too long. So. <laughs> One video for each act. Sure, why not? <laughs> um, let me see what this is. I won't end it yet. Uh, hold on. Wait, wait, I wanna do this first. Take a few pictures. Oh, more pictures. Okay, great. Oh, man. Alright. You can take pictures in specific regions after receiving daily themes for inspiration. The more of material you obtain, the better you can help the poets. Okay, so I just need to take pictures for this. Alright. Prepare four photos of Inazuma regional specialties. Okay, I'll do that. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll do this little quest mini stuff on stream. Maybe uh, I'll just focus on the story. Uh, the story quest. Uh. So act two, I'll do next video. All right, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.